Well, they have numerous top 10 singles, sold millions of albums, nominated for several Grammys. We are talking about the Goo Goo Dolls. And they've got new music out, including their single, Yeah, I Like You. And John Resnick is lead singer, of course, of the Goo Goo Dolls. And he's here to talk about their music, the tour, and all their new projects. It is such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. It's really nice to be here with you. So the 13th album? Is it 13? Yeah. It's 13. 13. Yeah. Lucky, lucky 13. Yeah, and I understand that you produced <clears throat> this album. And I this did. is the first time out of all the 13. It's the first time. Well, it's the first time I put my name on as a producer. Okay. But, but I just wanted to do it myself because I just wanted to uh, indulge myself yeah you know so I got to play with a bunch of toys and <laughs> I got tired of people telling me no so so yeah. nobody could tell me no when you're the producer yeah. you know but what is it I mean I was listening to some Goo Goo Dolls uh, some great hits from the late 90s <clears throat> and you had so many amazing hits and in mm -hmm. fact I was reading that Iris just had one billion streams on Spotify yeah so when you when you know your music is so popular from that era do you just try to kind of recreate it or do you feel the pressure to reinvent or change it up? I think I think that that I got to write what I feel like writing mm -hmm. no matter what it is. You know, I might want to play with a synthesizer one day or I might want to play guitar another day. Mm -hmm. um, the thought always crosses your mind like, well, this is what my audience really likes. So should I? But I mean, how do you recreate that? Yeah. You know, that song was such a like. I always felt like that song sort of, I was just sort of there when it happened. Oh. You know, more like mm -hmm. it came in here and came out here. Yeah. And, um, and it took on a life of its own. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, just try to, try to keep moving forward, yeah. I think. You know, like wherever my head is at, that's where I try to put myself as a writer. And does that mean you never have a favorite <clears throat> song? Is it always what you're working on is the it, favorite? Yeah, it's always whatever I'm working on because I'm still, you know, it's like, I'm still dating the song, yeah. you know. You know what I mean. I'm not married to it yet, so it's like it's always it's always the favorite sort of thing. When you're working on it, yeah. And you're going on tour. It's been a yes. while since I think 2019. Yeah. Well, we did last summer, and and that was great. And uh, yeah, we're going out again this summer with a band called OAR. Okay. Um, and that's yeah, that's that's like a 30 city tour here, and we're that's doing huge. some shows in the UK. Yeah, and we so. can see you in Irvine in September. Yes. Yeah, pretty excited about that. Yeah, and for I mean your longtime fans to see you in concert again. I mean, yeah. we're gonna get the same. Google, I mean, are you gonna give us some good old stuff yes. and the new stuff? All the hits, some of the new stuff. Big show, big rock show. Yeah, you know, you gotta play the hits. Yes, you know, cause absolutely. You know, that's absolutely. that's that's what people pay for. They certainly so. do. They certainly do. And we are yeah. so appreciative of you being on the show today and just no, spending some Glad time with here. us and and talking about what's coming up, which is really, really exciting. Yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been pretty interesting. You know, I mean, like the, you know, Chaos and Bloom, which is the new record that we have out was definitely a pandemic album, mm -hmm. you know, sort of a lot of the subject matter is mostly about anxiety and <laughs> being stuck in the house. Oh, and I hear that, that you actually worked on it in a very remote area. Yeah, we kind of created our own bubble and and went out to the woods um, near Woodstock. Okay. This old church with a house attached to it. So we sort of had our own little gang uh -huh. all stuck up in the woods and we had nothing else to do except make music. So. And did it really impact, in your opinion, the vibe of the music Absolutely. by being so isolated? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, because, it, you know, my favorite place in the world to record albums and that is here in Los Angeles because oh. the best studios in the world are here I think just me but a um, lot of distractions too a yes. lot of distractions yeah. you know mm -hmm. like lots of friends to go visit and you know mm -hmm. stuff to do but you're stuck out in the woods all you got is music <laughs> all you got is music can't even get a cell phone signal yeah well thank you, know? you so much I appreciate it and again the Goo Goo, Goo, Goo Dolls will be performing at the Five Point Amphitheater in Irvine next September. Mm -hmm. And you can find more information about the Goo Goo Dolls and all their projects by just going to our website, kcal9.com, and clicking on Scene on TV.